Hi there. Now for this question then, we had to solve this equation in this given range. And the answers to three decimal places as required were 0.253 and 2.889 radians. So you can see the working, but I'll just take you through the important stages. First of all then, when we get this equation, we're aiming to get it to the same trigonometric function. And we pick up on this double angle function here, cosine of 2 theta. You should be familiar with the identity cosine of 2a is 1 minus 2 sine squared a, and a being theta in this example. So using that identity, we can then expand the bracket here and then get an equation all in terms of sine theta. And we rearrange it so that we can form this quadratic equation, which factorizes, and then putting each factor equal to zero leads us to sine theta equals a quarter, or sine theta equals three. Well, sine theta equaling three has no solution because sine theta only goes between minus one and one. So I pick up then on sine theta equals a quarter, inverse sine it, it's a positive value. So using the quadrant rule, remember sine is only positive in the first and second quadrants. So if you inverse sine a quarter, make sure you're in radians mode, you should find you get 0.2526. This gives us our first solution here, and then the second solution will be pi radians for half a turn, minus 0.2526. And that gives us this answer here. So you can see that when rounded, we get the required result then, 0.253 and 2.889 radians, both to three decimal places.